So it's 2020, there's riots going on everywhere, there's a pandemic sweeping the world off its feet, and millions of people are losing their jobs. Times are extremely tough, and most people are losing hope. But I want to remind you that time and time again, those who persevere through tough times always make it out way further ahead in life than those who give up. Depending on the way you perceive it, these could be extremely tough times or it could potentially be the opportunity of a lifetime. Every circumstance is always dictated by your outlook. There is no inherent good or bad circumstance because every circumstance could be good or bad depending on your outlook. I choose to look at 2020 as a huge opportunity for self-reflection and growth. Quarantine has given me more time to focus more on the things that truly matter and take my progress to the next level. I want to applaud you guys for stumbling across this video because obviously you're curious about dropshipping and you're eager to learn more about this great opportunity. Hey, John from Viewer Mecom here. I've been getting a lot of requests lately on Instagram and YouTube from people all over the world asking, how should a brand new dropshipper start learning to dropship? So that's why I'm making this video for beginner dropshippers looking to get started. I'll give you my recommendations of how I would have gotten started if I could go back in time three years ago. Because the one thing that made it so difficult for me to succeed when I first got started was a clear roadmap to success. In this video, I'll cover how much money you need to get started, how much time is required, how to find a product to sell, what tools you're going to need, and where to find free resources to help you along your journey. So without further ado, let's go. So this is probably the most frequent question I get asked by beginners. How much money do I need to get started? So this is sort of a hard question to answer because you could either start with very little or you could start with a lot. By little, I mean you could get started with as little as $200 to cover the bare essentials. Your cost would look something like this. $51 would go into $29 for Shopify, $10 for your domain, and $12 for G Suites to set up your custom email. Now this will give you the very bare essentials necessary to start a store. And then with the leftover $149, you'll be spending it all on advertisements as well as product costs. Now with only $149 to test on advertisements, you'll have a very low chance of success in my opinion. Because you'll only be able to test a very small amount before you run out of money. Most beginners who have no clue how to use Facebook usually end up wasting their first two to three hundred dollars trying to grasp a very basic understanding of how it works. Which is why I recommend a budget of five hundred dollars to start with. This will give you a fairly good chance to succeed as long as you carefully research and plan ahead of time before launching your store. With five hundred dollars, $51 of it would once again give you the very bare essential store setup and then the remaining $449 will go into ad costs and product costs. Having a much higher budget to run advertisements will give you a far better chance to succeed because most likely your very first ad won't work. Mine surely didn't and you shouldn't expect yours to work too. The best mentality to go into dropshipping with is to not expect any success but rather go into it with an open mind that you're going to fail but regardless of failure, you'll continue to learn and improve. And the byproduct of this mentality is that eventually you're going to succeed, so long as you never stop trying. Because the business model has been around for decades now, but the way you market products has been constantly evolving. So in my opinion, dropshipping will be around for the rest of our lives, but the way you market the products will constantly be changing. From watching people dropship for the past three years, I've seen almost everyone who's been persistent, hardworking and constantly looking for improvements always succeed. Whether it be within 6 months, a year or 2 years, those who are consistent and never give up almost always succeed. Now of course I can't guarantee you'll be successful too because just like with anything in life, some things come naturally and some don't. So yeah, I'm sorry I got a little bit off track there with a little bit of philosophy but now back to the budget. So I really recommend $500 over $200 because You'll have far more confidence running ads, testing new things, when you have much more budget to play around with. Alright, so moving on to the next question. How much time is required to become successful at dropshipping? Now this is also a very hard question to answer because it all depends on what success means to you. 
To some, success means having enough to live a financially free life. By this, I mean the ability to buy all of your necessities such as a house, car, food, water, clothes, and anything else that could potentially give you the quality of life needed in order for you to be happy. And along with financial freedom comes the ability to work on the things that you truly desire in life. And then for others, success could mean making a lot of money, past the point of financial freedom. Now, in my opinion, I think both of these goals are completely okay. One goal is not superior to the other. It all just depends on what your ambitions are in life. Now, with that said, the time requirements are going to vary drastically based on these two goals. If you want to be financially free, let's just say you need to be making $100,000 in profit per year. This should give you more than enough money to cover your very basic living expenses as well as additional money for leisure. Now, from my experience and from observing dozens of people who have also tried dropshipping, usually if you follow the right resources and consistently strive for improvement, you can make anywhere from $100 to $500 per day in profit within the first 2-300 to 300 hours you spend. And then once you hit this level of success, you'll have to consistently spend anywhere from 10-20 to 20 hours a week for maintenance as well as continuously testing new products and learning about the latest marketing techniques. Now, of course, these numbers are just estimates, but that's what I've seen and experienced myself. Now, if your goal is to make a boatload of money, let's just say a million dollars plus in profit every year, then the time requirement will jump up significantly as well as the skill cap required. Because now you're entering into a realm of both dedication plus hard work. You'll have to dedicate almost every day towards dropshipping in order to hit a goal like this. Your off time will be spent thinking about your business and your free time will also be most likely just spent on your business. Getting to this level is definitely within reach, but not something that I would recommend everyone to strive for because the satisfaction of working all day isn't for everyone. So the time requirement. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Getting to 100k in profit a year in my opinion is not the most difficult thing in the world so long as you focus hard, stay persistent, and continue to improve. But getting to a million dollars plus in profit every year takes tremendous work ethic, patience, persistence, and a hunger for knowledge. Now those who make it to this level are truly dedicated to dropshipping and spend almost every day working on their business. If you don't have a natural inclination or love for dropshipping, it'll be very hard to make it to this level. Alright, so now that you have a good estimate for how much time and money is required to succeed, let's talk about the product you'll be selling. So first off, where should you go to source products to sell? So sourcing is actually the easy part. There are a couple of different sites you can go to in order to source your products. The biggest site is AliExpress, which is also the retail branch of Alibaba. And if you don't know what Alibaba is yet, it's China's largest online e-commerce market. A lot of products you see on Amazon are actually sourced directly from Alibaba. So for most beginners, AliExpress is an excellent choice to start with when it comes to sourcing products. Now, another site you could use is CJ Dropshipping. Their prices can be a bit more expensive than AliExpress at times, but currently during the pandemic, they have more reliable shipping lines, making them a great choice to start with as well. So once you select a site to source from, you'll have to actually select a product to sell. Now, this is crucial because depending on the product you pick, it'll also determine the likelihood that your first product will be a success. Now, this is because when it comes to marketing, some products are easier to sell than others. I firmly believe that literally you can sell anything to anyone with the right marketing. There is a reason why luxury brands exist. Two t-shirts with identical materials can be sold for either $20 or $200 depending on the brand. That's called marketing. So what exactly do I mean by an easy product? Well, an easy product would be something like a mosquito trap that we actually sold in the past. It's a product that people want and actually need. Just getting an advertisement in front of them showcasing the product could be enough to sell a product like this. Now, if you want to learn more about how we sold this product, check out this video on our channel. Now, a product like a pair of sneakers will require a lot of marketing. Now, this is because most people already have sneakers and they usually don't buy unknown brands. This means that you'll have to spend far more time and money trying to convince someone to buy something that they don't actually need. So in essence, an easy product is something that people need. To give you a few examples, a mosquito trap, a posture brace, 
and resistance bands are all products that someone needs. All right, so hopefully that gives you a good idea on where and what products to find. If you want to learn more about product research, make sure to check out these videos on our channel. They go much further in depth when it comes to sourcing and finding winning products. So moving on to the tools that you're going to need. Now in this section, I'll talk basically about everything related to the technicalities of setting up your store, such as platform, themes, and applications. So the platform you'll be using to host your e-commerce store will be Shopify. Now there are other platforms you could use to host your e-commerce site such as WooCommerce, Magento, BigCommerce, Squarespace, and a lot lot more. But the reason why we recommend Shopify for dropshippers is because it's extremely easy to set up. In my opinion, Shopify is the easiest platform to set up and use. The UI is extremely user friendly and this was my go-to choice when I made my first dropshipping store. So I definitely recommend Shopify, but you could go with other platforms if you want. So once you've decided on a platform, now it's time to pick a theme. Shopify gives you two options which are free themes and paid themes. Now for beginners just starting off, I recommend to get some experience first using the free themes. Themes such as Debut and Brooklyn look surprisingly good for free themes and they'll have all the basic capabilities you need to set up your store. Now I definitely don't recommend jumping the gun and purchasing a paid theme when you're just getting started. I think it's pointless to pay for a theme when you don't even know how to market your product yet. I guarantee you that a theme isn't going to be the main factor when it comes to the success of your store. So get a feel for how to dropship first, turn a profit, and then invest your money into a paid theme. At the start, you should be allocating all of your money into your marketing. Next, once you've got your theme selected, it's time for applications. Now, applications are basically additional add-ons to Shopify to help make your life easier as well as potentially increasing your conversion rates. So, Oberlo is an application that is going to be an absolute necessity when you're first getting started. It's going to be the bridge between your store and your supplier. This app allows you to import AliExpress products directly onto your store so that once your customer places an order, you can automatically fulfill it using Oberlo. The app is perfect for beginners because the free plan actually gives you everything you need to get started without having to pay a penny for the app. Now once you start making a lot of sales and are looking to save time, you can upgrade your plan to the $29.90 plan for additional benefits. Another app that will increase your conversion rate is Klaviyo. Now this is basically an all-in-one email marketing tool that allows you to both capture and send out emails so that you can keep your customers in the loop about your latest products, as well as set up reminders if they forget to purchase your product. The great news is this tool is also free up to 250 contacts, which means you can start learning about email marketing without having to pay a cent once again. All right, and finally, the last application you could use is called Luke's. This app will allow you to increase your conversion rate by allowing customers to leave reviews on your product page. Now the great thing about this app is that it has a built-in review importer tool which allows you to import reviews of your product directly from AliExpress so that you can build up some social proof for your product when you initially launch. Luke's also has a free 14-day trial and then it's just $9.99 for the basic plan which has all the features you need to get started. Alright, so that covers all the basic apps you're going to need when getting started. Now, keep in mind there are hundreds and hundreds of apps out there, but to keep this video very basic and easy to understand, I decided to show you guys these three apps because in my opinion, these are the only three you really need to get started with. Okay, so moving on to where to find resources for free when you're first getting started. First, I recommend you join our Facebook group where we hold active discussions every single day and talk about the latest updates when it comes to dropshipping. We have a huge community of over 40,000 people and I'm sure you're going to find a lot of useful information here. Next, you'll want to take a look at our playlist on our YouTube channel. It's titled 2020 Complete Dropshipping Course and basically it has all the information you need to create a Shopify store, research winning products, run Facebook ads, and two case studies on products we sold in the past. Now this playlist should be more than enough information to get your first store up and running. And then after you finish this playlist, if you're really interested in dropshipping and you see a potential future with it, then you can browse around our website at fearamecom.com and check out some of the more advanced videos on our channel. Now, in my opinion, we don't have nearly as much content up yet, 
We've been working diligently, but there's just way too many topics to cover when it comes to dropshipping. So I recommend you to take a look at some of these other YouTube channels as well. Now, one of my favorite hey, channels everyone, Gabriel is here Gabriel St. Germain. I haven't spoken to the man, but I absolutely love his content. He hasn't been active recently, but he has some very knowledgeable videos on dropshipping, and I really love his informative video style. And then another YouTuber you can check out is Ari Sherson. He's been in the education space for over a year, and after talking to him a bit on Instagram, it sounds like he's genuinely interested in providing value to his students, and he has a lot of videos on his YouTube channel as well. So I definitely recommend you guys to check out these other YouTube channels once you're done checking out all of our content. We'll do our best to continue making more content and update you guys with more free case studies in the near future. Alright, so that just about wraps up this video. I hope you guys were able to learn exactly what it takes to build a Shopify store. Now, the only thing left for you guys to do is take action and start learning. Now, if you have any questions about this video or have any suggestions, make sure to drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to all of you guys. Anyways, as always, I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.